Hey everybody, welcome to The Daily Dose with Dr. Ken and I'm Dr. Ten and today we are talking about voting. Why is it important or is it not important? As many of you know, I did a special called Race in America, which focused on voting. And within that special, we talked about how important it is, especially in the black community or in minority communities to get out there and vote and have your voice heard. And what was interesting about that conversation is that, you know, everyone had a different take on it because although we were mm. all black, right. we still are from all different parts of the country, from the world. So voting meant a little bit something different to each and every person. Not only is it important for black people, you know, historically, even when we were granted the ability to vote, we still weren't able to exercise it until the Voting Rights Act of 1965. And, you know, even after that, it was, too far, not long ago. It was not too long ago. And even after 1965, you know, that we still had our run ins with voter suppression. It's really important for everyone to vote, not just black folks, but I think particularly black people, because we're the minority. And so our voice is easily stamped out by the majority. So as many of us as there are, we all have to vote. We all have to get out there. Out of curiosity, the thing. was there anybody on that panel that didn't feel that, you know, voting really mattered? Because, you know, I've run into a lot of people that, you know, and, and you'll be surprised. Like, it's not yeah. even people who, are, who haven't, you know, finished high school or college. There's a lot of people out there that feel like they've never voted. And I, my, my jaw dropped. I'm like, you? So no one on the panel admitted or said that they had never voted. Everyone was pretty much on the same page with that. But I think that's still an important point to point out that people do feel like a sense of what's the point? You know, why even bother? Like, why even show up? Because and things don't change for us, Britain. I think largely the presidential election, things probably don't change that much. But what in my research, I was interested to find out how important local elections are. Local and state elections are incredibly important, especially now you know, with what's going on with George Floyd and yes. police brutality and those kind of things. You know, I found that it's very, very important that people get out and vote for their local and state elections in terms of their DAs, their district attorneys, because those people hold the most power in deciding someone's fate from just after arrest to appeal. It's not the judge. No, in reality, 97% of these cases are decided by a plea deal. And the person that controls the plea deal is your district attorney, right? So it's it's incredibly important to get out there and vote because if you want to talk about reforming our criminal justice system, the DA has the most power. And most of the DAs, just to give you a demographic, I think about 95% are white, 85% are men, and less than 1% are women of color. So wow, this is um, this is crazy. It's critical that we get out there and vote for these people because they control pretty much every step of the way from just after being arrested to the appeals process. So, you know, they'll decide if there's even a charge, what that charge is. They'll decide what your sentence is. And okay, then but, but wait, it sounds like it's too much power for one person to have. Yeah. Like the DA has all that power that everything that you're saying. Yeah, they do. That seems too much power. That's well, crazy. So, exactly. So if you want to talk about reform, if you want to talk about things like mandatory sentencing being abolished or money bail system, the yes. money bail system. What, what do you think about that proposition? Well, I mean, I think there's there's something to the fact that if you're rich, bail doesn't really exist, right? You get to walk around free until your court case. But if you're someone who's poor, then you have to sit in prison until you go to court. And oh, by the way, we're paying for them to sit in prison until their court case, which is usually a year to three years down the road. And right? so you look at so, factors like if you're a flight risk. A lot of people want to reform the whole system. It's not just money bail, but it's decided by what crime you're being accused of, if you're a flight risk, if you're a danger to yourself or others. Those are the things that really should come into play when you talk about putting someone you know, up for bail versus keeping them in jail until their court date. This told me the demographics of most DAs and there's no representation. Yeah, and that's what it boils down to. We have no representation. That's why it's important to vote. Get out there and learn who's running for these offices so that you can be better prepared 
for the time when it comes to voting to choose the person that you feel you're more in line with or someone who's out for reform. People, you know, I think it's time to have some criminal justice system reform. I think we've all especially if the DA has all that power. This information here, I'm serious, dog. Like this is valuable. Like a lot of us don't know the basics of politics. And now I see why you're saying local election. That's where the problems pertain to me yeah. and my community, more so at the local level. All the problems yeah, I mean, we have. Think you know? about, just think about like the school systems, right? Like you're in charge of voting for your school board or the chief of police. You know, all these things really affect you locally on a day to day basis. So that's where you really want to get your hands dirty and find out more about these people that are running for office, because, you know, that's going to determine what happens every day you walk outside of your house or every day you send your child to school because, you know, they choose the principles of school board. They choose the curriculum that your school follows. You know, this is really important stuff that people need to know more about. So those state and local elections are extremely important. Not saying that the presidential election isn't. If, right. if of course. Is, of course. But, but, you know, we really need to be more cognizant of that factor. I want people to understand the importance of voting. Like, why is this? Why is voting so important? Right. I think we've seen in our history a time where we had no voice. We had no way of saying what we felt was important to us. Right. And if you do, if you don't vote, you're essentially putting yourself back in that time. You, you're like rewinding time back to a time where. Let's just not have a voice. Let's just be taken advantage of. Because remember, if you don't vote, someone else's vote will take precedence. And the things that are important to you may not necessarily be important to that person, right? So it's very important. I don't want to go back to a time where we could Me neither. Vote, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. laws were put in place to, to benefit me. So we have to really think about that and really think about the fact that, you know, now that we have this, this right, now that we can exercise this right, we have to exercise this right. You know, our ancestors, they died for this right. I you know, know, all the died. stuff you went through, girl. For us to not appreciate that fact and take advantage of that fact is just like stabbing them in the back. You know what I mean? Like, well, I like how you said you're actually teleporting yourself back to the past. You really are. You really are. I don't want to go back to that time. So I think it's really important that people understand the importance of getting out there and have your voices heard. And the other thing, too, is this is the only way voting is the only way politicians know how good a job they're doing or how. Right, they're doing. Right. If you come out in droves, they will listen to you because they have no choice because they know they won't get reelected. This is the only way we have to get politicians to do what we want. Right. We think they're corrupt, but that's because they run unopposed or no one comes out to vote. And so there's a poor turnout. So if we really want these politicians to do what we want them to do, we've got to get out there and vote. This is the only way. This is their check and balance. If they see that a community is voting, they're yeah. going to listen to that community. They're going right. to pour money, yeah, pour money into that community. They're going to make take take action for that community. If they see a community is not voting, they're not going to show up. They're not going to put money into it. They're, they're not going to come and woo us and find out our needs and our demands that was the, exactly they will not come to your to your community to hear your voice right they're not gonna they're not gonna campaign in, a, in an area where they know no one is voting it's a waste of their time and money they're gonna go elsewhere so you have got to get out there and vote you've got to get your voice heard because that is the power protesting is step one taking action and voting yeah is Come the on. final step and you got to do it you got to follow up you oh can't my do God, it. girl speak it yes I have to tell you, Dr. Tan, you were dropping pearls and, um, but for this election, I, for the first time voted in person for the first time ever in my life. And let me tell you, I was shocked of how nervous I was. I'm it's serious. A, it's a huge responsibility. Oh, yeah. like, this is what people died for. And I felt so happy getting my little sticker. Like, I'm like, yes, I voted, I'm powerful. And it was exhilarating. I was like hyped up after. So like, it, it, you feel the vibes. You do. 
You do. And actually, Mac, Mac and I voted by mail. So we literally had the computer next to us and we literally had to look every single person up because it's that serious. I mean, it really is that serious. And we've only touched on a couple things about voting and why it's important. You know, there are some pitfalls to it. I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and act like everything is perfect. Um, but in order to make a change in any imperfect system, you have got to vote. You've got to have your voice heard. So people- so will none of that, it doesn't count. It doesn't matter anyway. No, it does. Not like how you said about the community. If they see the community, a lot of us vote in there, they'll come to us yeah. and they'll woo us. They'll tell us what they can do because our vote actually allocates funds yeah. to whatever they're proposing. What do you say to people that when, you know, your vote doesn't matter? And maybe, and I have to be honest with you, I felt like that too. You know, does it matter? They do what they want to do anyway in Washington. Well, so I mean, that's, and that's a, a valid feeling. I think yeah. a lot of people feel that way, but you know, it's still your duty. It's just like jury duty. You have to do it. They're, them being crooked has nothing to do with you voting. Those are two totally different things. It's just like, you know, I remember this one doctor told me, well, I show up late because the patient's not ready. And I was like, well, but that has nothing to do with you. Like your job is to show up on time. Doesn't matter what everybody else is doing. Doesn't matter if the patient is late. You still have to show up on time. So your your duty is to vote. It doesn't matter what the politicians are doing. None of that stuff matters if they're crooked, if they're not. Your job is to show up and vote. You can't be worried about everybody else. We'll, 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 you know, voting fixes that system too. Okay, right. <laughs> it fixes that system too. So if that is your concern, then fucking vote. Yeah, that was a good accent. Let me just do this, and that's why you're on Race in America and Voting in America. I'm motivated to learn more about what affects my community. You guys, please, please vote. And until next time. Attention. Dose. Dose. It's the daily dose. Daily dose. Daily dose. Okay, we cute. We too cute for that. What, what are you doing? Oh, I just saw a cute angle of myself. I'm like, hey, we gonna do this shit anyway. Ain't that right? <laughs>